Hey, welcome to another study with me video where you don't just watch me study, but we study together. And this is on redox reactions. Now, if you haven't catched my first video where I explain what redox reactions are and how you can understand it, then click the link in the description box. Well, without further ado, let's get studying. Okay, first things first, we're going to start with GER, filling in the blanks. So we know, of course, this is reduction. So if that's reduction, then this one is oxidation. We know that both of them deal with electrons. Now we have to know whether it's gaining electrons or losing electrons. And since the L and the G is helping us, in reduction, there is a gain of electrons. And with oxidation, there is a loss of electrons. So now that we filled it in, we can write our definition up top. So the reduction is electrons plus protons that are gained. Here in oxidation, it's the electrons and the protons that are removed now we have our definitions. Now can we explain our example? So here we have our substrate. With our electrons, we have our proton, NAD plus, so now, in our hydrogen that's floating in this cell, the electrons and the protons are transferred to NAD+. This will give us NADH. and two hydrogens. So we have two electrons, two protons will give us two hydrogens. Now, NAD plus is oxidized. And NADH is reduced. NADH is reduced, so it's used to generate more ATP. So you think you have it now? We went over it in my first video. We just covered redox reactions again. So now I want you to fill in the blank. Fill in GER, LEO, the two definitions of reduction and oxidation, and explain this example and fill in all of the blanks. Okay, one last time. I scrambled the example, so I want you to put the example back together and label it appropriately. Give me the definition of reduction and oxidation and fill in GER and LEO. So you can pause this video and put it together.